welcome to Draw Fame, where we take your dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Julia. I'm Nathan. I'm Jacob. And I'm Caldwell, sworn enemy of Draw V. <laughs> oh, God. Caldwell, get out of that trash can. Hello, my fellow Whovians. <laughs> You're sitting in the garbage, dude. With all our kitchen <laughs> utensils. Get out of there. Oh, Geronimo, my friends. <laughs> Time. <laughs> Alon Z. <laughs> oh, I swish my cloak about. <laughs> Guys, if you haven't gotten the clue already, we're doing Doctor Who aliens. Yeah. Uh, this was suggested by Eva Mags, uh, probably others as well. We love that fun British alien. I don't. <laughs> Jacob doesn't. You don't. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob, not a Doctor Who fan. The rest of us. We tolerate that fun British alien. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob loves aliens. He just hates the British. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a weird sore spot for me. <laughs> they think their accents are so cool, and they are. Jacob wishes he could be that cool. I can't. Jacob wishes he could be the subject of a monarchy. <laughs> so, Julia, you are going to be uh, assigning us aliens that we I are going hosting. to. I am hosting. Ooh, pip pip, jammy dodger. Extraminate. <laughs> Extraminate. Oh, my God. It's not good. It's not good. Well, anyway, uh, no. I think the person with the most knowledge of Doctor Who that isn't me is probably Caldwell. So let's start off with Caldwell, I guess. Yeah. Take me on a journey through time and space. <laughs> <laughs> Caldwell. Your alien, to start us off today, an alien that I picked strictly because I loved the name, is the Garm. <laughs> Listen, Caldwell will do harm for the Garm. <laughs> you know I gotta do harm for the Garm. When the Garm be coming, you know the swarm be me? <laughs> Not even vaguely good. No, I didn't, that one's a miss. <laughs> hmm. The Garm. The Garm. The Garm. If you would like, do you want to start off base for him or do you just want to go? Yeah, give me a start off base and I'll work it into what I've got going on here. I'm going to give you two words and it's vaguely canine. I mean, this is vaguely canine in the eyes a little bit maybe. Yeah. Oh, this is a cute one. Uh, I'm going to keep these eyes. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a snout though. Oh yeah. Oh look at this garm. <laughs> oh there he is. Look at this There's good garm, <laughs> Julia. What um? Wh who was the doctor? When... It was the fifth doctor. Oh wow. Yeah, the Garm helped the fifth doctor. Apparently, the Garm are very gentle folk. Oh, the fifth doctor would have been like hmm seventies. That's from a while back, right? The fifth doctor is the the Peter Davison one. Okay. I don't know who that is, Julia. That's some old <laughs> British guy. That's like, that's that's seventies, I think. So if it's seventies, I think it's gotta be some real practical effects. Yeah. yeah. This is some pinata material, it looks like, <laughs> we've got going in. I think this is purely like paper mache. This is a papier mache monster. <laughs> Caldwell, you're drawing that dog from that gif that like does like the wide stance, like moving forward and like thrusting its hands. Oh my God, you are doing that dog. <laughs> I don't know this dog. Is that the Garm? I think that's the Garm. I choose to believe the Garm is one creature, <laughs> referred to as the Garm. Guys, the fifth doctor's from the 80s. I apologize. Oh, wow. Okay. So really just tacky up this, uh, this dog. Well, that's the thing about the doctors is they're from the 80s, but they can travel through time. And space. <laughs> so he could be from any time. <laughs> They have the ability to just go all over the place. You think that like the doctors would have like a much wilder fashion sense considering they exist outside of time and space and can go to any time. I don't know, have you seen how many scarves they wear? <laughs> Is yeah. that like what people do in the future? <laughs> <laughs> it's just more scarves from here on out. It gets real cold. We just keep adding more. Just keep adding <laughs> scarves. <laughs> Dumb hats, lapels. I will say that the Garm is named after the dog of a Norse mythology who guarded the entrance to hell. Okay, so it's a hell puppy. It's a hell puppy it's a ish, hell puppy. but it's vaguely canine. But it's a friendly. It's a friendly, vaguely canine. <laughs> this looks like a Digimon. <laughs> it does look like a Digimon. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Nothing. Name one thing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with Digimon. It's also very coy about you going into hell. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's like, like, oh, you don't want to go into hell, hell do you? <laughs> <laughs> it's bad there. It's bad. You don't want to be there. They got fire. Trust me, I'm the Garm. <laughs> <laughs> no need for alarm. It's me, the Garm. <laughs> oh, he does have a Grim Reaper uh, scythe. Good. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, don't mind that. <laughs> I was just tending to my fields. Not for humans whatsoever. I don't see any fields around here, the Garm. Concerning. <laughs> what about what about your cloven feet, the Garm? Mm, clip clop. That's so I can scramble up ledges. <laughs> I enjoy the sound it makes on tile floors. Would you care for a bix a biscuit? It's nearly tea time, it's, and this is a British show, we have to mention that. <laughs> I don't know, I'll throw in a mention of the queen as well. <laughs> I'm going to, oh, I'm going to give it like tassels. Oh, yeah. On the arm. It's like clear that this costume was made in the 70s, but they didn't use it until the 80s. Or they did like a uh, a revised version. Oh, sure. This does seem like some sort of, uh, God, I don't know, it looks like a Metroid villain. <laughs> This is like this is like when they show like the international uh, Sesame Street Muppets. Yeah. <laughs> it's like this is the one from Afghanistan. <laughs> they love the Garm there. They love the Garm. What does the Garm teach about? Um shapes. <laughs> Life and death. He's a yeah. very hard hitting lesson for yeah. the children. Well, Life, death, and shapes. Ob object permanence, I guess, would be. And the... impermanence. And impermanence, Nothing yeah. lasts forever, kids. Oh, that's, yep. There we go. Cobble, you really are just drawing that dog from the yeah. GIF. Yeah, you're drawing the dog from the GIF, and you don't even know. I need to see this dog from the GIF. We gotta add that GIF into this into this vid. Please add that GIF. Trevor, add that GIF. Add that GIF. <laughs> uh, any clothing on the Garm? Any garments? I really <laughs> like the Garm. Like kind of as he is right now. Yeah. Tail? Sure. Yeah, you could have but a not tail. But not a dog tail. Yeah. No, no, no. Peacock tail, for sure. Or like a rooster. A roosty. Aw, yeah. A little, a little roosty caboose, I think, is what we're going to want here. Oh, I love a roosty caboose. <laughs> it takes 10 hours for a person to get fully uh, into the garm suit. Get garmed. <laughs> so, time to get garmed. Yeah, that's what the, the actor says. He's like, well, time to get gom. <laughs> and then they don't see their family for five days. Yeah. <laughs> So should I look up what the Garm actually looks like? I really don't want to. Look up what the Garm looks yeah. like. Let's look up the Garm. I, I love this Garm so much, and I know it's not going to be as good. Oh, uh, that's pretty good, though. I didn't think it was going to be like a, a Yorkie. <laughs> yeah, this, this Garm is also pretty good. It is wearing clothes. Yeah, he's wearing like a tunic. You got the paper mache aesthetic. Yeah, totally. Yeah. He is a patchwork. I like that uh, his armor seems to be made of silver craft singles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is just like tinfoil, square tinfoil. Oh. I can absolutely hear this thing speaking. Like, Doctor, you must come to my home planet. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly the voice, probably. I haven't actually seen the episode, but yeah. <laughs> oh, we're off to a good start. Um, yeah. I would like to. I would like to draw. <laughs> Allow Nathan this privilege. Nathan, the alien I'm giving you are the Zygons. The Zygons? Do you know a Zygon? Um, I know Zygarde is a Pokemon. Okay, so... that's good. <laughs> wrong wrong genre, dude. I think, I think I'm just going to draw Zygarde unless- Don't just draw Zygarde. <laughs> Nathan, you look for any excuse to draw a Pokemon. <laughs> You already know how to draw. I don't know how to draw Zygarde. Zygarde's like a big serpent. What is the Zygon? Nathan, do you want a clue? I can yeah, give, give you a two-word clue as to what they kind of look like. Yeah, give me a two-word clue. It's not Pokemon. It's not Pokemon. Okay. Those weren't the two words, though they were two words. Pocket um, monster. The best, the best <laughs> description that I can think of mm -hmm. is octopus pizza. <laughs> <laughs> That is an A plus description. That's a thing I want to eat right now and also see Nathan draw. Wow, yeah, kind of. What is an octopus pizza? It's not shaped like a pizza, but it does look like it's covered in pizza. Oh, okay. Nathan, quit stalling and draw octopus pizza, please. Draw <laughs> octopus pizza, please. Okay, so it's just sort of like if you melted a bunch of cheese and pepperoni yeah, on an octopus. If you, if you melted like, a mollusk. Do you know Pizza the Hut? From Spaceballs? From Spaceballs, yeah. It's like that. So it's like if an entire octopus was made of melty cheese. <laughs> but think like even a little more humanoid. Yeah, because remember the doctor who has a budget of about $20 okay. per episode. So this is so think man episode, in a suit of an octopus covered in melted cheese and pepperoni. <laughs> All right, maybe here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start with the man, yeah. and then I'm just gonna build the suit Start with out. the man shape, yeah, because okay. because again, they have a, a budget of 20 pounds per episode, mm -hmm. so they, it's just a dude in a suit. 
kind of like traditional Godzilla style. Okay. I like to think that they personally have to ask the queen every time they want money. Yeah. <laughs> Here's 20 more pounds. Yeah, the queen <laughs> has, you. has to personally approve every Doctor Who alien design. You kids have fun making your program. <laughs> Mum, the villain for the show is just a trash can. We need more quid, Mum. <laughs> no, no, no. Bridges and whatnot. Okay, so Infrastructure. We've... It's just funny to me that the same money that goes to make, like, I don't know, make sure that, like, babies are born in England also goes to make sure that we get Doctor Who. <laughs> They're equally important. I would say. It also explains why, you know, they were like, Mum, we need money for a spaceship. And she was like, no, <laughs> just use a phone booth. There's plenty of those already. She just looked out her window. <laughs> that will do nicely. <laughs> okay, Mum. Thank you. I will say that this alien is from the mid-1970s. Mm -hmm. when its budget was probably at its lowest, though maybe the 90s it was probably at its lowest, because I've seen that Doctor Who movie from the 90s where they just say that the Doctor is half human and then they proceed to ignore it for the rest of time. That's an, Yeah, it's wow. not canon. Yeah, it's not canon. They just ignore that that movie ever happened. It's great. Nathan, I think you're confusing this with the popular Beatles song, Octopus Poncho. <laughs> I want to be in covered in cheese <laughs> in an octopus's poncho <laughs> on a show. Nathan, that was so good. <laughs> I would do harm to me a gum in an octopus's poncho on me. <laughs> so good. Nathan, I do miss being uh, in New York with you because at every moment you had, you would try to just draw a Zygarde for me. <laughs> and I miss just like sitting next to you on the subway and you just turn to me and say like, do you want to see a Zygarde? And I'm like, yes, I do. And then you would just bust out a picture perfect Zygarde from memory. <laughs> It's just one of the perks of being friends with Nathan. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna you're gonna get uh, Zygarde. Caldwell, I realize I'm just drawing Alfredo sauce from your Star Wars video. Oh, <laughs> oh God. A blast from the past. The old Alfie's back. I love the little um mozzarella beak is I think really primo drawfy for me is what uh, is what I'm seeing there. I think if you could like make it more of like a turkey waddle, that would really delight me. Okay. So let me uh so just sort of like like, yep, yep. <laughs> so you know that like when Perfect. he talks, he goes like, blah, 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 and it like, like gets viewed. cheese everywhere. Yeah. Oh, he shakes that thing around. Yeah, before the actor puts on the suit, they do just put an entire pack of gelatin in their mouth, and they just kind of let that leak throughout the filming. Yep. They can't breathe. It's a good show. I was thinking about it this morning, uh, and I think one of the reasons I like Doctor Who so much is because it, it reminds me of myself in that it's a show that is constantly uh, just disappointed in its past. <laughs> it's just like, sure, we did that, but we can do it better. Just give us another shot. We'll do it better. <laughs> disappointed in its past, but like people people love the past anyway. Yeah, but it's like, no, 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 that was rubbish. We're going to do it again. Yeah. <laughs> we're yeah. going to do it again, and we're sorry about the old one. Because Caldwell, your body of work is vast and beloved. It's true. I am equally as uh, beloved as Doctor Who. Thank you for saying so. Nathan. I would say at least. I think so. <laughs> the lie down, try not to cry, cry meme is ubiquitous on the internet now. And that's just that, that's just something you did. I mean, I think it's there should be a rule or a law, I guess, that states like if you're on the internet for long enough, you will just eventually become a meme. It's just how it works. You live long enough to see yourself <laughs> become a meme. <laughs> it's the ultimate state of things. It's it's th where the entropy of the internet universe is heading. What should I do for these legs? Just I think maybe it's just the guy. Yeah. Yeah, it's just it's the just, guy. It's just the guy in his pants. Just like, all right. Um, <laughs> don't don't film down here. Don't film down here, mate. <laughs> it's just me keep trousers, it, bruv. Or keep it locked off to a medium shot, bruv. <laughs> <laughs> don't choke out the dolly, dove. <laughs> this is wonderful, Nathan. Um, can I get like any one more bit of info? Because I did draw an octopus pizza, or pizza octopus rather. You did. Anything else I should I should know about? Uh, n no. I mean, <laughs> does he get it? Does he have a hat? He does not have a hat. Any headwear? No, he's he's 
I mean, I gave you the only two words that could be used to describe. <laughs> he's definitely got more Zygon. more valves on him. He's got a lot of suckers he's on him. He's got a lot of like valves. That's the best way I can think to describe it. Some like macaronis. Nathan, you did forget his uh, his Jansport. Oh, his his back his backpack. <laughs> yeah, he forgot his backpack. <laughs> There's anywhere. no way he could fit that in here. It would be so far behind him. He's just got it on, on this arm. <laughs> that's where he keeps his. <laughs> that's where he keeps his epipen. <laughs> I'm allergic to pizza, mom. Don't make me wear the pizza octopus suit. <laughs> you must wear the pizza suit. <laughs> You're my least favorite prince. <laughs> I love Britain and their culture. This is, it's so weird. Have y'all seen the episode of The Crown that is just about this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy that, that Prince Harry did play uh, this character. <laughs> yeah. Older than you think, that guy. <laughs> I want to see what this actually looks like. I didn't look it up yet. Nathan, Let why don't you look up the Zygons? I'll look up the Zygarde. <laughs> Zygon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, this is such a fun design. Oh, that's less that's less pizza y. They're pretty pizza y. I look see. At, look at this one. But you see all those valves? So many valves. They look like a Power Ranger villain. Yeah, they do. They really do. But see how like the face just kind of sits in there like a like Pizza the Hut costume. Yeah, I didn't give him I didn't give him enough of a, a uncanny valley uh person face. It's just a yeah. dude in a suit. Yeah. They look so dry. God, I love a, a sunken-faced actor deep inside of a Doctor Who costume. <laughs> it's, such a, it's such a mood and a vibe. Yeah. <laughs> How are they so wet but so dry? You know? That's what I want to uh, know. That's the British climate. <laughs> and they do, they do have that, that nice cod piece as well. Yeah. Just sort of. Mm -hmm. that, that... Gotta leave that area vague. Okay. Jacob, get in here. Julia. Hello, Jacob. I'm Doctor Who. Give me a monster, then. How did you do it? I come out me TARDIS in, in, in this time to draw a monster, Julia. All right, so Jacob, I'm giving you yeah. a way, way back alien. It's been around for so, so, so long. Your alien is the Alpha Centaurians. Alpha Centaurians? Yeah, Alpha Centauri. That's just a galaxy. Name. That's a real ass place. That's a real ass place. That's a real ass place. So they're just from there. Alpha Centauri is a planet, not a galaxy. It's a, some space I shit. Think, I thought it was a star system. Oh no, it's a sun, isn't it? Is it? I'm, I think it's a sun. Hold on. In the card game Race for the Galaxy, it's a well, planet. Don't use that as your example. It's a planet. Dr. Zygon. It's a planet. I'm going to need any information. It's a star system. I'm drawing it's a, a man's chest. All is right. that? Uh, you you are wrong. How's this? But that's okay. Oh, that's a good <laughs> chest, though. Thank you. Yeah, that's a broad chest. This is the best chest. Okay, uh, I, I am gonna include this regardless. The, okay. The name of the actor is named his. He's Chester. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> so this is an alien that dates back to the third Doctor. Wow. Wow. So it has many, 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 many iterations, but they all kind of follow this vague theme. The first one looks like a Lego man. I will say that. Like a Lego man. But since then, <laughs> okay. I guess I could start off by saying he has tentacle like limbs with claws at the end of them. Okay, sure. And their sure. heads are featureless except for one thing. One thing? Is yeah. it is it a and sunken I will be man vague face? About it. Okay. Is it a sunken man face? It's gotta be a sunken man face, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean if it's if it's a Doctor Who, how could it not be a sunken man face? Is is sunken man face the new beautiful man face? <laughs> Just a man face hidden inside. Just just nestled in a womb of flesh. I'd okay. love oh man, now I'm just imagining Lego man but with Oh god. But with full person face. Well that's where I'm headed. That's, that's... The, the road that I'm that I walk. Oh this boy. is my dark path. This sunken man face alien is trying to steal Leonardo da Vinci. <laughs> <laughs> he got him. He got him. <laughs> Come back. Oh, I will also say that they have a beautiful cape. Oh. Wow. Oh. Sure, sure they do. As most Lego men do. Sure they do. Jacob, you've just drawn a <laughs> you've just drawn a a battery. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so far. You've drawn a double A battery, my Paul, friend. Well, I've got miles to go before I sleep. All right. <laughs> so don't you even worry about it. I'm extremely worried. <laughs>
Okay, sunken sunken man face. Yeah, don't forget to add that copper top so you know it's a dang Duracell. This was some <laughs> some branding. This was the only way they got any budget for the third Doctor is they just made uh, an entire race of aliens uh, advertisement for Duracell. Yeah, they were all household products that season. <laughs> and they, they waged war against a giant Energizer bunny. <laughs> Can I just state on this wiki for the Alpha Centaurians, it says that they are known for being hypochondriacs. Oh. <laughs> they okay. always think they're getting sick. Yeah. Give them a Band-Aid. I really need to just, like, sink this face in here. Do they show up in uh, in later seasons? They do continue throughout the show. I think they make a reappearance at Capaldi's season. Oh. I vaguely remember this, yeah. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Here's our boy. We're just going to sink it on in. Oh, good. Oh, very good. Does anyone have a wireless mouse that needs charging? <laughs> <laughs> it must be gigantic. <laughs> okay, maybe a little smaller. Even smaller, please. I think I want it up here. Mm -hmm, yes. Give me that Game Boy Advance. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say Game Boy Color. <laughs> ah. <laughs> okay, so you said tentacles? Yeah, you tentacle said tentacles. Like limbs, yeah. Tentacle like limbs with claws at the end. Just watching Jacob's cursor flit around the screen in panic is really delighting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. With, with claw, tentacle, my God. There's a lot going on with these dudes. Oh, those are big tentacles, huh? I like those. Oh, you wanted small. I mean, <laughs> they could be whatever size you want. I, I guess just I can do small over here. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, a little bit of an asymmetrical design. I like that. Yeah, this is just a bunch of uh, bunch of little ones. <laughs> you get to pick your poison. Yeah, it looks like he's trying to regenerate that arm. I like that. And I will be taking poison after this episode because uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm ready to die. We all have our arsenic tablets ready. <laughs> you can never die, Nathan. I'll go to the past and bring you back again. <laughs> I'm Doctor Who. <laughs> I gave you my Time Lord powers. You're going to regenerate into a slightly more handsome man. Or maybe a woman. Or maybe a slightly <laughs> more handsome woman. Oh, fuck. Yeah, kill me and make me Jodie Whittaker. I'll oh. do it in a second. Uh, oh, but claws. Oh, but claws. Yeah, you need like, claws at the end there. Like what kind? Santa. Um, you know those little. <laughs> 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 nope. That's yep. Got, we're going with that. I got Caldwell to tell me to shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob, this is just like a. This is some sort of fruit. This is like a turnip. <laughs> Listen, man, I don't it's, it's make a bunch the rules. Of yams. I yeah, you've drawn make, a bunch of yams. I didn't you've make Doctor Who. Yams, I'm love. just perfectly drawing yeah. it. Mate, you've done a bunch of yams. <laughs> if this isn't already an alien, then uh, it should be. And this one's got crab. This one's Ooh, got crab. Yeah. This one's got Gotta crab be. claw. Got to have one crab. Nathan, ever since you said Game Boy Color, I'm just thinking about that like thick caboose that Game Boy Colors have. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. You remember that? Yeah, dude. That ergonomic design. Yeah. Remember like changing the batteries in that thing and you just like slapped that little piece of plastic back in and it was just oh, like, yeah. just like slapping a little butt. Yeah. And then that, <laughs> that dull red light would go bright right. Hell yeah. And it was time to get back into Legend of Zelda DX. Mm. Love it. You've drawn the world's weirdest superhero somehow. <laughs> what about legs? What about legs? Does he have them? No. No? <laughs> if you want me to be honest, he's only got them. What it? What it? What is? What is down there? Let me get more claws it's over a here. Mystery. Then. <laughs> okay. In that case, I'm just gonna put more claws. I mean, you could you could do whatever they want, whatever you want with his legs. They don't really show them. They don't show them. I mean, they so he's in a, he's in a little car. <laughs> <laughs> like yes. a like a big wheel. He's what if a... it's like a little rocket ship because he's a space alien? He's in a big wheel. He's in a big oh, wheel. Okay. He's you, in... can, you can see part of his like shapely butt, his shapely bottom. Is this this is like a like one of those those like cars that's a miniature car but it looks like a cool car? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, each uh one of these Alpha Centaurians gets to pick their own tiny car. Oh, and then they're the battery for that car. Yeah, then they power the car and when they run out of life force, so too does the car. Now, is this a normal sized car or a tiny baby car? 
It's a tiny baby car. Nice. Great, great, great. It's a tiny baby's car. <laughs> it's a car for a tiny uh, here. baby. I'll make it clear. Like, I'll put like a seat back here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a big seat. So they come to this planet to steal cars from babies. <laughs> yeah, they, they need more baby cars. Their planet's out and they don't know how to make them. They see the babies driving around in their baby cars and they're like, someone cut a, one of us in half and gave it to this baby. Like that's the reveal is that all baby cars are actually the bottom half of oh, Alpha Centaurians. So they, yeah. this is their actual body you're saying. Yeah, well, wow. yeah it, can't, it can't reach the steering wheel. This is dark. Fisher Price is up to some nefarious deeds is what you're getting at. Well, cause that's, that's always the twist in a Doctor Who episode. It's like, you think the bad guy is the bad guy, but then it's like, oh, it was actually the people were bad. Yep. <laughs> Ooh. What if humans was the real bad? Unless, Unless you're talking about Daleks. Unless it's a trash can, the trash can is the mo the most evil one. Yeah, trash can's always bad. I like this current season of Doctor Who because all the episodes are like, hey, maybe colonialism ain't great, in it. <laughs> 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 maybe we did a bad there. <laughs> I'm so excited for you to look at Julia, up what is they there anything like. Is there anything else I'm missing? Is there any other like feature I need to include? Jacob, what is happening with these wheels? They're little. <laughs> They're zooming. He's just putting he's putting along right now. He's on his Are way they to... like little crab legs? They go. Do they skitter? They're little pegs. They're just wanna... like little. All right. Do you want to complete his cloak as well? Because right now, it oh looks yeah, like his he's cloak. Just got a little, a little scarf. Yeah, you said it was a magnificent cloak. It's Let me make the wheels cloak. better for Nathan, so he doesn't judge me for drawing bad wheels. There, is that better for you? I just wanted to know what was going on. Does that make you feel? Better, Nathan. Look, we can go back Nathan, to what do you I feel drew. Better. This is all better than what I drew. Yeah, and then I think his his cloak is just like yeah, just billowing magnificently. Oh, resplendent, resplendently <laughs> billowing. Is his cape also made of several yams? <laughs> it's it's yam synthetic. Okay, <laughs> it's woven together yam fibers. <laughs> yeah. This. Now I want to go back and watch Doctor Who again. Yeah, me too. It's weirdly good and. It's one of those shows where you watch and you're like, oh, this is bad, but I'm having a great time. Yeah, that was the, yeah. Doctor Who is a show that should not work because they do like the most improbable thing every four years, which is they're like, okay, we figured out these characters and how this show works. Time to reboot it. Time to change everything that made this show good. And they do that every four years. Do you understand? That's, I mean, I guess we do that with like, our country, and it's a bad idea sometimes, but like, <laughs> it's absolutely buck wild that that is like the status quo for Doctor Who, is just to keep changing everything that works about the show. Like, oh, you like this actor, and now you've had time to familiarize yourself with them and really gotten to know their personalities, Bye bye Well, yeah, with, with Eccleston, <laughs> it was just one year. You just got one year of Eccleston, and then he, he was like- he hates Doctor Who. Yeah, he, he notoriously hates his time on Doctor Who, and he hates the show. It's so funny. He's my favorite one. And he's such a grump. <laughs> My favorite's David Tennant. Oh yeah, but... everyone's favorite is David yeah. Tennant. This cape is wrong, but I don't care. I'm done it's drawing. It's fine. It's look billowing up. out in the complete wrong direction. I'm so excited for you to look up what they actually look like. Oh, they just yeah. have a yeah. eyeball egg head. Yeah. yeah. These aren't tentacles, that's just six arms. And a little Lego <laughs> hand. Oh, oh, I like those little hands. That's, that's the Lego, Lego part? Yeah. They've got a round spherical head I feel like you've misled me in this description <laughs> in a major way. Look at that one that's just lying on the floor. Scroll oh, up. Oh, their their legs are just a like a yeah. ball sack. Yeah. That's good. They are an upside down penis with oh, an eyeball. That one's just tentacles. laying on the floor. That one's just laying on the floor and I love it. What happened, little buddy? <laughs> Yeah, they look like they'd be very easy to knock over. It's so, th These screenshots are always so funny because it's like a man that looks like a lounge singer from a 1970s, you know, like ski lodge, <laughs> an alien, and then a Roman centurion. <laughs> <It's just laughs> the weirdest costume party ever. And that's every Doctor Who screenshot. Yep. It's a feast. It's a feast. It is nice to see just, just how much variety they're able to get out of their no budget for these. It's good shit. It's good shit. <laughs> Watch it if you don't. Give it a chance. <laughs> Thanks for plugging it, Nathan. Yeah. They... Oh, I am the Queen of England. Please watch my show. Yeah, it needs this, your help, Nathan. This episode is sponsored by the Queen of England. She really <laughs> wants you to watch her favorite show, Doctor Who. And while we're plugging stuff, hey, check out Dropout. 
<laughs> it's Ooh. our subscription service that we did with College Humor and Dorkly. We've got our very own original show on there, Cartoon Hell. It's like Drawfee, but with more stuff. We're really happy with how it turned out, and we'd love to share it with you. We've been posting clips, but if you want to see more, just click the link in the description. Yeah, the queen doesn't have anything to do with it. She wanted to get her grubby hands on this project. We said no, mum. We said no, mum. This is a queen-free project. Yep, so don't even worry about it. There's no queen of England and no queen the band either. <laughs> Unfortunately, we tried on that one. There's comics on there, too. The Ladies Book Club comic. Yes. Not to mention many others. And of course, Fantasy High, Dimension 20, Brennan Mulligan's wonderful Dungeons and Dragons show with all your favorite College Humor cast members. G give it a watch. It's the best way to support Drafi directly. If you don't, the Garm will come for you. Yeah. G <laughs> and you do not want all that cheese <laughs> in your home. He just starts taking the cheese off of himself and putting it on you yeah. one by one until you're in a cheese cocoon. And, and you don't want that, unless you do want that. If you do want that, also, we can send the Garm to you if you sign up. Yeah, respond in the comments with, I would like the Garm. Yeah. <laughs> this has been Drawfee. We're sorry. We're Garm. We're, gar we're Garm. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry.